Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video by yours truly. I must say the new Divergent Universe is the best quality of life update I have ever seen. This changes everything. No, it, it is truly a one of a kind QOL. I mean, I think you guys, if you've been keeping up with the channel since day one of Honkai Star Rail coverage, I have been complaining about the simulated universe grind. Uh, how mundane and tedious it gets, how uh, it take it's too time consuming, like having to go through all that. Oh, my God, this divergent universe has just completely eradicated it, made it so much more efficient. It's expedited the process by like a mile. And I want to go over how much more effective it actually is. It turned my previous like 45 minutes I used to spend doing this godforsaken simulated universe every week into a matter of like six minutes. I actually recorded the footage and it was a nine minute uh, interval for me grinding eight out of eight of the resources to, to consume for plan R ornaments. It was nine minutes, but three of those nine was spent like looking at whether I got good plan R rolls or not. Six minutes, I was doing 45 second clear times with my Firefly break effect composition, which I'm sure you can do it with Himiko as well, right? I'm just, just merely conveying to you guys the experience I've had doing this. But let's go over some of the details on what they've done exactly to increase this experience and just make it a much more enjoyable experience on the player for grind purposes. One of the first things I wanna get out the way is this puppy down here. You used to have to do this twice in Simulated Universe. This is completely gone. You do it one time, this is it, this is one time, and you get all the rewards in that one sitting, which is fantastic. But it doesn't stop there. After you clear through that one time, it's gonna ask you if you wanna save the file. You wanna save the run and retain all of the buffs. Once you do that, you come over here to start game, right down here. Oh, my, my fat head's in the way. You come over here to start game, right? So we're gonna click on that. And then bottom left, it's called planar ornament extraction, which by the way, just wanna let you know, you don't even have to do this. There's a, a, a shortcut option in your daily screen. We'll go over that too. Planar ornament extraction. Now we have all the bosses that you can go to depending on the ornament set that you want to farm. Obviously, we're all farming eternal comedy because they just dropped the brand new ornament set that's best in slot for Firefly. But then you have the other one attached to it that's going to be good for Jade and any other future uh, follow-up attack synergies that may synergize with this set. Who cares about that? Click on the, the one you want to farm, right? We're going to click on Eternal Comedy. This is where things get crazy. So you have your save file. I just saved my run that I did with my team composition, right? The run retains everything that I've chosen, which I want to go over those details. It retains, because uh, there's there's some new little intricacies in this Divergent universe. Like this stuff, this is new. Uh, this stuff here, that's new. And then you have your, your usual dynamic of the simulated universe where you have your blessings that you chose as well. But it retains all of that. And here's the kicker. If you get a good run where you got like, uh, decent clear times or you just got broken freaking buffs that line up you save that run and then you can grind this bad boy as much as you want with that run and yeah it just expedites the process i want to show y'all how fast i went through this with my firefly composition the other crazy thing about it is that my firefly isn't even built yet she's at zero 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 but Another QOL is they just build the character up for you even if they're not built. That's the QOL. So like I can come over here and choose any freaking character. I can choose this level 20 Misha right here and they'll take them straight to 80 and give them a, a whole set, a light cone and everything. So you don't even have to build the characters. You can just choose the team you wanna choose that you own and then pop off. If you don't have uh, like well a well account, you can just go and choose a whale. You can go choose a whale, bro. Like my boy Beats, he got the E6S5 Akron. I could throw her in there if I wanted to. Uh, but you really don't have to do that. This build here is pretty good with Firefly. I'm gonna show it off just to go ahead and go into details as to how things work. My Firefly break effect composition, all I needed was these two right here. This one here reduces their toughness every time they try to recover from toughness by 50%. So instead of going back to 100% toughness bar, they only go back to halfway. Uh, this one here, it just pretty much 
is kind of like the 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 elation path buff where you like do a bunch of uh after effect damage except it's for break effect right they pretty much took the elation path like buff and turned it into a break effect buff cumulus stake basically after characters following the path of destruction attack enemy targets that are currently weakness broken trigger fire wind lightning and physical break effects with an 80 percent conversion rate uh this can be triggered one time every time an enemy target is weakness broken and then you even get a nice little break effect increase at the bottom there these are the only two you need for your firefly just those two uh when it comes to the buffs down here the only thing you need is this buff right here after a character inflicts weakness break on an enemy their action gets advanced forward 100 this is still broken nothing's changed there so once you get this every time firefly breaks their shield she just keeps going and keeps spamming her her uh her skill now they've added some new buffs in like after a character inflicts weakness break delay the enemy's action by 30 percent. i'm pretty sure that's new uh this one here is definitely new after character breaks an enemy's weakness increase their speed by 30 percent they've they've added in some new buffs specifically for like firefly and the newer units nihility path has some stuff to reduce defense of enemies with their weakness broken that wasn't in here when a character breaks an enemy's weakness you deal break damage equal to 210 percent of the weakness break damage <laughs> that wasn't in here either so Honestly, you can like scavenge around in here, but the most important buffs that I found were those Nihility buffs, this bad boy right here, and then I just tried to action advance my Firefly as much as possible, as well as increasing her speed. Destruction Path also has one that's broken, Decaying Implosion, all type res pin, and increased break damage dealt. So, you know, it's not rocket science. Put as much break as you can on your Firefly. Let me stop waffling about that. Let's go into the runs. Let's see how that works. Okay, so we're going to click Start Challenge. All right, we're going to go ahead and go up in here. And it, it's going to put you right up in here in the mix, right? Pop that. Pop that. And then we're going to open up with Firefly. Boom. And this is our plan, our ornament grind. Bam ults. Ron May ult. Harmony MC ult. Gallagher ult. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pop this. Watch how fast this is. It's insane. Pop this. Turn this down a little bit so you guys can't. All right, so we're going to pop Gallagher's ult. Break their shields. Boom. This is the strat, guys. We're going to auto attack this person to the left. Firefly comes up. We're going to auto attack. Pop ult. From here on out. From here on out, just tap the E button. Okay? Just tap the E button. One tap. Yep. One tap. They get delayed. They don't even get a chance to go. You see their health bars only go back to half. That's thanks to that buff I was telling you about. So we're going to do this. Break shield. Boom. All right. And then do it again. Yeah. And that's all she wrote. Just like that. We got our rolls. Unfortunate. We got our rolls. Ooh. Lock that one in. And we go again. Now we're going to do it without all the yapping. Pop all their ults in that order. Ron May first, then Harmony MC. He can do vice versa, but then Gallagher. This this is a god tier strat that I actually came up with on complete accident. I was just like, wow, this works really well. <laughs> it's like a 45 second run, honestly. Okay, so we're gonna go attack this guy to the left. All right, we're gonna auto attack here and then pop ult. And then we're gonna spam skill from here on out. It's GG's. There's a one tap. That is so ridiculous, man. All right, skill again. Spam me. Spam me. That's it. There we go. You can close your eyes if you want to. All right, another run out the way. This is the improvement of simulated universe planar ornament grind. It is absolutely broken. Okay, so eh, eh, eh. All right, we'll do it again. I, I already know y'all are probably thinking, what the hell? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Imagine though how much more time we had to spend prior to this. It was like a solid 30 to 45 for me. And if I was yapping, it was an hour. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and hit this guy on the left. There we go. Auto attack. Ult. This will be the last one. I think I've got my point across on how broken this is. That one, that's that's 2.4 mil, guys. 2.4 mil. And I haven't built my Firefly. That's the most important thing that I think you guys need to take. I haven't even touched her. She's level 80, but I haven't built her. 
Like, she doesn't have a set. I'm currently working on getting her a set. Brick and brick. Okay, so yeah, that's how it works. That's the new way of farming planar ornaments. You probably can come up with a better build than I came up with. That I honestly had that build on complete accident. Now, the shortcut to end off our video is you can come over here. There's a new dedicated set, like, I mean, section. See, plan our ornaments. You come over here, you click this bad boy. It takes you straight into it. You click start challenge. Hopefully this brought you guys some value. I also just wanted to share my thoughts on how impressed I was with this quality of life update. I mean, that it really does change everything. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.